In this bonus video, I'm going to show you how to multiply decimal numbers using long multiplication. First example, use long multiplication to find the answer to 67 times 42. Okay, well the first thing to say is that there's very, very little difference that goes on when you're multiplying uh, decimals using long multiplication. We always begin with an estimate. 67 is roughly equal to 70 and 4.2 is roughly equal to 4. 70 times 4 equals 280. Now, you really should be familiar with how to multiply two-digit numbers together uh, to be able to do this. So if you haven't yet mastered the kind of examples that I showed you in video two, then you should go back and watch that now. Okay, assuming you have mastered that, let's carry on. So my estimate to the question 67 times 4.2 is 280. That is what I think the answer will be approximately. Okay, to do this, all I have to do is temporarily eliminate the multiplication, uh, the decimal points, and carry out the multiplication as if it was 67 times 42. That I know we know how to do. Tens units, 67 times 42. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 6 is 12, plus the 1, 13. Start the next line with a 0. 7 times 4, 28. 6 times 4, 24, plus 2, 26. Okay, 4 plus 0 is 4, 3 plus 8 is 11, 1 plus 6 plus 1 is 8, 2 plus nothing is 2, answer 2814. Now, of course, that is not the same as my estimate. 2840 is not the same as my estimate. So what do I need to do? Well, I know that these numbers are involved in the answer, 2, 8, 1, and 4, but I think I've made the answer way too big. So if I go back to the original question, let's bring back the decimal point. Okay, you will see in the question that there was one, and only one number after the decimal points. Out of 67 and 4.2, there was only one number that came after a decimal point. And that means that in our answer down here, there is also only going to be one number after the decimal points. Yep, as if by magic, if I put this decimal point in, I will get the correct answer, 281.4. Now that makes a whole lot more sense if I compare it to the estimate. We can see that 281.4 is quite close to our estimate, 280, and therefore it's almost certainly correct. Okay, let's go on to the second example. Here we've got very similar number, I've changed it to 6.79 times 4.2. So, an estimate to start with. 6.79 is roughly equal to 7. 4.2 is roughly equal to 4. 7 times 4 equals 28, and so 28 is my estimate. If you haven't mastered the kind of questions that appeared in video number three, that's a three-digit number times a two-digit number, then you need to go back and have a look at that and watch it again and again until you've mastered it. Okay, so as with the previous example, what I'll do is hide these decimal points and carry out the multiplication as if it were 679 times 42. Okay, hundreds, tens, units, six, seven, nine times 42. Two times nine, 18. Two times seven, 14. Plus this one, 15. Two times six, 12. Plus this one, 13. New line, write a zero. Four times nine. 36, 
4 times 7, 28. 28 plus is 3, 31. 4 times 6, 24, plus this 3, and I'm carrying 27. Add the two numbers, 8, 11, 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5, 1 plus 7 is 8, 2 plus nothing is 2. So I've got the answer that involves 28518. That is huge. That's way too big compared to my estimate. 28,518. Right, so what did we do before? We looked at how many numbers there were after the decimal points in the original question. Go back to the original question, I can see that there are two numbers here after the decimal point and another number here after the decimal point. That means there are three numbers after the decimal point. Going back down to the answer that we got, three numbers after the decimal point. So counting from the right-hand side, three numbers from the right-hand side means that the 518 part are going to be after the decimal point. So I have an answer now that says 28.518. Let's compare that with the estimate. Yep, that is in the right order of magnitude. So unless I've done something wrong in the calculations around here, then I've got the right answer. If I check it, I would do 9 times 2 to give me 18, 7 times 2 to give me 14, plus 1 that I was carrying, 15, 6 times 2, 12 plus 1, da, 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 new line, new 0, 9 times 4, 36, 7 times 4, plus 3, 31, 6 times 4, plus 3 that I'm carrying still, 27. Add the numbers, and I get 28518 put in three numbers after the decimal point and I get 28.518. Okay, one more example to show you what happens when um, we end up with a few zeros at the end. Nothing really changes, but this could come up and I want you to be prepared for it. Okay, 6.5, roughly equal to seven. Remember we round up if it's a 0.5 or above. 4.2 roughly equal to 4, so 7 times 4 equals 28, that is my estimate. What do I do next? I hide the decimal points and treat this question as if it was two whole numbers, as if it was 65 times 42. Okay, tens, units, 65. 42, multiply. 5 times 2 is 10. 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 1 that I'm carrying, 13. New line, add a 0. 5 times 4 is 20. 6 times 4 is 24, plus the 2 that I'm carrying, 26. Okay, add the numbers together. 0 and 0 is 0. 3 plus 0 is 3, 1 plus 6 is 7, 2 plus nothing is 2. So I've got the answer that involves 2730. How many numbers were there after the decimal points in the original question? There were two. There's one there and there's one there. So that means in the answer, starting from the right hand side, there's also going to be two numbers after the decimal points. 27.30. Does that look right? Well, if I compare it to the estimate, yep, it does look right. The reason why that's different as an example, the reason why I wanted to show you is because it ends in a zero. And I didn't want you to be afraid of putting the decimal point there just because there's a zero there. Okay, it's 27.30. Or you might just as easily write 27.3. It depends whether the question wants the answer to one or two decimal places. Certainly if it was money, if this was a if this was a, a money money that we were talking about, then we would keep the zero in there. Twenty seven pounds thirty. Okay, that is the end of the bonus video. By all means watch it over and over again if you need to refresh yourself on how to multiply 
by decimals using long multiplication. Bye.